So we move on to the Europa League and we have Red Star Belgrade on Thursday evening at the Emirates Stadium. Now one thing's for sure, they're not going to be bringing 20,000 fans like Cologne did. Well, let's hope they do because the atmosphere will probably be fucking dead. That was the best atmosphere I've ever seen at the Emirates when Cologne turned up and it's about time we had the stadium bouncing. I was there at the weekend against Swansea and the atmosphere was absolutely dead. Anyway, enough of that. I'm going to get into my 1-11 to for this game. So my 1-11 to for this game is as follows. I am going with Pit Peter, Peter, whatever the fuck his name is. I'm going with Peter Cech in goal. Um, Matt Macy, I thought he'd done really well against Norwich. But I think this may be a step too far and I don't think Arsene Wenger is going to pick him for this game. David Ospina is still apparently out with a groin strain, so he's not going to be available. Now, right wing back, I am going with Reese Nelson. He's played every single game in this competition in that position and I don't see that changing. I'd wish it would change because I don't want to see him defending. I want to see him going forward because when that boy goes forward... He can score goals, he can create goals, and he can do stuff some of the other players can't. Um, now, left wing back, another player I don't want to see in this position, but sadly I think Carson Wenger is going to pick him there, and that is Ainsley Maitland-Niles. Now, in the last game away to Belgrade, I thought he was arguably our worst player. Um, I don't think he was that good at all. But that being said, the whole team were pony that night. Now, the three at the back, I am going with Matthew Debucci. I think Wenger will play him there again. He did that in the previous game in this competition. I'm also going with Rob Holding. I'm going to put him in the centre of the three. And Callum Chambers. Yes, Callum Chambers is alive and well, and he is raring to go, apparently. So let's hope he comes into the team and proves me wrong, because I don't really rate the guy. But... I'm prepared to give him a chance. He signed a new contract now as well. So he's staying. He's here. I'm going to support him. Now, the two in midfield in front of them, I am going with Joe Willock. Joe Willock is a fantastically gifted footballer. I think that he's got a really good future ahead of him. And I'm excited to see this kid play. I've been lucky enough to be at every game bar the Belgrade away game where he's played. And he has really, really impressed me. He's got everything. He can go past players. He does the defensive side superbly. And he's got a pass on him as well. He don't mind getting stuck in either. So I am going with him. And next to him, I am putting Jack Wilshere. Now, a lot of people are going to be looking at that too and thinking, oh, that's a little bit lightweight. I don't think it is. Jack don't mind doing the defensive work. He don't mind getting stuck in either. So that's my pairing for this game. In front of them two, I am going with Alex Iwobi, another one who has impressed me. I really rate this guy. I think he's a really good footballer. Um, it was a shame that he got dumped at left wing back for the remainder of the Norwich game when we went into extra time and made a few subs. But I want to see him going forward as well. Alex Iwobi has got pace, he's got power, and he can ghost past people when he's on it. His confidence should be high. He's scored a lot of goals recently. Well, I say a lot of goals. He's scored a couple of goals. And he qualified Nigeria, like I've said in previous videos. He should be on top of his game. And I'm really looking forward to seeing him play. So let's hope Wenger does pick him. Like I said, this team is the team I think Wenger will pick. Now, next to him, just behind the main striker, the only striker, I'm going with Theo Walcott. Now... I mug Theo Walcott off left, right and centre. I do it week in, week out, when he don't turn up. Now, in this competition, he has turned up. And he scored two goals in the game against Barté. He wasn't great in the game away to Belgrade, but nobody was. Other than Jack and maybe Giroud, who both stole the show in the last couple of minutes. But admittedly, that was after they went down to 10 men. Um, now, the striker for this game, I am going to completely mix this up. 
Now, Giroud, yes, he scored that fantastic goal away to Belgrade, which ultimately won us the game. But I'm not going with him. I am going with Eddie and Ketia. I've probably butchered the kid's name, but that kid, I was at the game against Norwich. That whole crowd was out of their seats every time he got the ball. He was an absolute joy to watch. He had everybody excited. He came off the bench with five minutes to go and he scored with his first touch. What a way to mark your first goal. First touch. Then he got the winning goal with a bullet header in extra time, which qualified us into the next round of that competition. Now, I really, really, really want to see him play in this game. What was his reward for getting man of the match, for scoring the two goals and stealing the show? He didn't get put in the squad against Swansea. I hope he starts in this game against Belgrade. The kid is absolutely fantastic. I picked him in a previous video many, many weeks ago. And people were like, who? Well, we all know who he is now. Anyway, that's my 1-11 to for the game. What do I expect from the game? Um, well, we can qualify with a draw, depending on the result in the Barté Cologne game. Personally, I think we'll win this game. I think we'll ease through qualification and then we'll see maybe some of the players playing in their rightful positions in the last two games of this competition. So, yeah, I really hope that it's a good game. I'm going to the game myself and I'm expecting a comfortable victory. They tested us over in their ground, but let's be honest, their atmosphere was extremely intimidating. They're not going to have that many fans in our ground. Well, I don't think they will, but you never know. And I am going for Arsenal 3, Red Star Belgrade 0. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know if your selection would be different. Like I said, I have gone with a selection that I think Arsene Wenger will pick, not a selection that I would pick. Um, let me know what you guys think. Leave your comments down below. Smash the fuck out the like button. And if you're new to this channel, where the fuck have you been? Subscribe. Hit the bell. Laters, peeps. Mm-hmm.